When Lake Superior gets too icy for the Madeline Island Ferry and not icy enough for an ice road to Bayfield, that's when the community's wind sleds swing into action. Brothers Arnie and Ron Nelson, who have been driving the wind sleds for decades, haul more than just people. UPS, FedEx, lumber, nails, uh, roofing, you name it, it, it comes on there. Yeah. Had a couple of funerals, mm -hmm. brought people this way in caskets and stuff like that, mm -hmm. uh, and taking them off. The first run of the day to Bayfield is for students who commute to school. There are three wind sleds run by the town of La Pointe, which is on Madeline Island. One is for emergency use, and then there's an older medium-sized one, and a 24-passenger one that is the workhorse. Driving a wind sled is like driving an airboat in the Everglades. What else is like it? It's like, it's a wind sled. It's supposed to be like an Everglades airboat or something like that, but it steers with wind and power, so if you, you you can't slow down and go into a corner because you take your power off, you can't turn. The wind sled's high-powered engines are loud and the ride is bumpy. With two powerful engines, the wind sled takes the term gas guzzler to a new level. The big one's probably burning uh, probably a gallon and a half to two gallons to the mile. I mean, there's times you're running almost full throttle the whole way and then you're burning several gallons to the mile. Few people outside the area have heard about the nation's only publicly owned wind sled. To us, it's just it's just what we need to get across. It's I mean it's pretty cool. 